We're doing something pretty incredible today. This is something that's been on my mind for a very long time. I've been wanting to do what I'm doing today, literally for months. I fell in love with Stingrays not too long ago with my beautiful Mini Marble Motoro Hybrid, Steve the Stingray, that you all know and love on my channel. But I want to get him a friend. And not just any friend, a girlfriend. So I was on petkiosk.net. It's one of the sites that my local fish store uh, participates in with a local wholesaler uh, where you can order fish online pick it up in the store. There's no shipping costs. There's no shipping really at all. They're picking up locally. So we're going over to Tropical Showcase to go ahead and pick up a Stingray that I've had my eye on for a long time. Let's go to Tropical Showcase and see what we got. Guys, it's raining. Here we go. Ah! It's so bad. All right guys, so this is the Stingray I'm getting. How do you pronounce it? Tico. Well, the Latin name is there, it's normally known as Tico. Right, it's the Magdalena. Magdalena? I'm butchering the name, but whatever. Yeah. He's a little guy, a little small, but these guys stay small. They're teacup type Stingrays. They get to be about like, I think it's like eight. eight. I think it's like eight, eight. to like fourteen inches, yeah. depending on the size, male or female. But yeah, I'd say around eight is always popular. So you can tell if it's a male or female if it has claspers underneath it, like little tiny pencil-like <laughs> claspers underneath. And this one doesn't have it. Therefore, she's a nice female. Guys, so while I'm here, I'll take you guys on a little tour of what Tropical Showcase is like and what it looks like. See the tanks and stuff. Water in here, they got salt water on that side, fresh water on this side. They got some pretty cool stuff. I was just looking at these Barbados that are over here. These are some Cooper, super cool type of corridors. They got nice adolfoy, really cool fish. Take a look at this. Giant peacock bass, super cool. Marijuana over there. For you too. <laughs> Jack Dempsey, really cool. All those corals. Shovel nose Lima. I've had one of those guys before. Super cool fish. Really nice. Here's all the salt water setups they have. Tiger barbs, silver dollars. And what what size tank is this? It's a 125. It's a 125. What is this like? Acrylic. It was just like, is it really acrylic? Mm -hmm. Wow. And it was like eight feet. Looks like maybe eight feet or so. Of course, I couldn't just come to the store <laughs> and get just this thing right. I needed to get more fish. <laughs> We're getting the Adolfoy, and we're getting one of the Barbatus to join uh, the small little colony I'm building at home. Super cool fish. I like this little setup you guys have going on here too. Yeah, those are nice. I love yeah. this tank we just put together, and it's already growing. Like everything's growing. She yeah, this looks really nice. Birth, you know, like in like within days. <laughs> the, the female guppy in there. Yeah, and she got her male in there somewhere. What is that? The uh, fluval stratum. Um, that's. Uh, I think it's actually Aquasolum by the sea cap. Gotcha. Cool. Looks nice. Yeah. Look at the City of Angels. Guys, I'm in the car now, and it is absolutely downpouring right now. It is so crazy. All of the fish are right here in my bucket. Uh, we're gonna get them home, hopefully safe. It is not good out here in these streets. Ugh, all right. So it's still raining outside, but we got the fish home safe. Time to acclimate them and put them into quarantine. I brought the fish downstairs and wanted to make sure I was gonna be acclimating the stingray correctly. 
Uh, and the best way to do that is to actually do a drip acclimation with them. They're a little bit more sensitive to water parameters uh, and things of that nature compared to other types of fish. So what I did was I floated the bags for just a little bit uh, and then after floating the bags, making sure that the temperature acclimation was complete, went ahead and put some water inside the bag. Uh, after putting some water inside the bag, uh, I added some more water to make sure that the uh, pH and things like that were not going to be too much of a shock to the stingray and also the Adelphi Cori and also the Barbatus. After putting them into the tank, the Barbatus and the Adelphi actually stayed together pretty closely. Uh, they're kind of schooling together. They are somewhat in the same family, so they're going to you know, display that type of behavior. The Stingray, it's hiding behind a piece of wood right now. It's a little, little bit of, you know, a shock getting added to a new system and getting acclimated. I do have another male Geophagus inside of there with them. So there's a total of four fish inside of quarantine right now. Uh, I currently have some salt in there and also plan on doing uh, treating for internal parasites. This is actually a wild caught stingray. A lot of times you have to be very careful because wild caught stingrays can actually carry parasites. So to ensure that there's no parasites that are gonna be harming Steve or any of the other fish that are in my 125, we gotta ensure there's no parasites. So I'm gonna go ahead and treat the quarantine tank with some general cure. Uh, that's my go-to when I'm quarantining and wanna make sure there's no internal parasites inside of any of my fish. I also have the salt in there right now to ensure that there's gonna be no ectoparasites, external parasites, or any sort of bacterial or fungal uh, infections that are gonna be coming from the transportation. So I'm gonna check up with you guys in a few days, whether it be one day, two day, three day, whatever it is. Uh, and we're gonna see how these guys are doing. All right guys, so it's actually one day later since we added the new Stingray the Adolphi Corridoris and the Scurlomaxis Barbatus into my 15 gallon quarantine tank with my Geophagus Steindacteri, AKA the Red Hump Cichlid. The stingray is doing very well. She's not eating yet. It's not uncommon for stingrays not to eat right away when you're being added to a tank. Uh, she's been hiding a little bit. There's currently no sand in this tank. I might add some sand to make her feel a little bit more comfortable. As we all know, Steve the Stingray, which is going to be this Stingray's husband, <laughs> hopefully, uh, we all know that he likes to stay under the sand occasionally. Um, and all Stingrays typically go under the sand. They'll burrow to make themselves feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, they'll hide out. It's equivalent to maybe a cichlid fish going into a cave. She's swimming up on the glass, which is always a good sign for stingrays. Uh, if typically, if a stingray is swimming up on the glass, it means that they're really comfortable inside the tank. They have a really good personality, typically. They're being active, and they're overall pretty happy. A stingray that's always hiding, um, always burrowed under sand or substrate, it's typically a bad sign. They don't like their environment. Um, and they're really just trying to hide and stay away from it. Hopefully, you know, as the days progress, she begins to eat. I'll go ahead and do an around the island update for you guys. I know you guys like that uncut around the island update I did last month. So I'm going to go ahead and do another video like that in a few days. But since Steve is officially getting a wifey, we got to name this. We got to name this. I know I've been very, very, let's name this fish. Let's name this fish. We don't need to name all these fish, but something like this, she's going to be with Steve and she needs a name. We need to know what we're going to put on this marriage license. I'm going to be honest with you guys, a lot of people wanted me to name Steve, Steve, uh, because of Steve Irwin. Um, we all know what happened to Steve Irwin with the Stingray. Uh, so I'm thinking Steve Irwin's wife, her name is Terry. Do we name this Stingray Terry? I don't know guys, let me know what you think about that name Terry for this female stingray. Hopefully we can, they're going to be very compatible and well together. Maybe even bring me some baby pup stingrays. Shout out to Tropical Showcase and people over at Pet Kiosk for hooking me up with the stingray. Um, and also these two really cool catfish that I have with the stingray right now. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you did like this video, be sure to subscribe. Check out some of the other content here on my channel, ding that notification bell if you are already subscribed, but most importantly, 
don't forget to fish on.